This short instructional video will show you how easy it is to set up an HTD mid-level whole house audio system that includes an MCA66 all-in-one controller amplifier. This instruction assumes you have already chosen a central location for your equipment and have already run speaker wire from that location to each speaker. It also assumes that you have run and terminated CAT5 or CAT5E or CAT6 cable from that same central location to any location in your home in which you would plan to install a keypad. Now, let's get started connecting up your mid-level whole house audio system. Make sure the MCA66 is powered off. Let's start by connecting your speaker cables to the MCA66. This is done with bare wire and the included green Phoenix type connectors. These connectors can be unplugged from the MCA66 to make installation even easier. Strip away approximately 1 8 inch of the outer sheath from each conductor. Use a small flathead screwdriver to turn each set screw counterclockwise to open the connector for receiving the bare cable. Insert the cable and tighten the set screw to firmly hold the cable in place. It is important to maintain the correct polarity with each of your speakers. If you've run two conductor cable that is typically red and black, the standard is to use red for positive and black for negative. If you've run four conductor cable, we recommend using the following standard, red for left speaker positive, black for left speaker negative, white for right speaker positive, and green for right speaker negative. Repeat this step for each of the speakers in your system. Now let's connect a source into the MCA66. With the MCA66, you can connect up to six audio sources. Let's start by connecting a source into the Source 1 input. Most audio sources will include an analog output that can be connected directly using a stereo RCA patch cable as we show here. If your source only includes a digital output, you will need to add a digital to analog converter before connecting to the MCA66. Repeat this step for your other sources. While the mid-level system can be controlled entirely from a smartphone or tablet by adding an Ethernet to serial gateway and using our Valet Home Control app, most of our customers choose to also install a keypad into each zone for convenient quick access to their system. Our two keypad models, KC6 and KC7, connect the same way. Simply insert the terminated CAT5 cable into either of the RJ45 ports on the back of the keypad. The other port is available for daisy chaining another keypad into the same zone. In the same way large rooms often have more than one light switch for controlling the same bank of lights, for convenience you should consider installing a second keypad in large audio zones. Screw the keypad into the wall and attach the screwless frame. Back at the central location, connect the terminated CAT5 cable from the keypad to the corresponding zone on the MCA66. Repeat for every zone. The system is now ready to be powered on. Press in the power button and note that the blue LED will be lit. If not already on, turn on the source connected to Source 1. Now let's power on a zone using the keypad in Zone 1. Press the power button and release. Confirm that the blue light for Zone 1 on the front of the MCA66 is lit. The blue light will remain lit whenever a zone is powered on. That's all there is to it. Within each zone, you are now able to independently select any of your six audio sources. Of course, at some point you'll want to adjust the default settings for each zone. From a keypad, you can independently adjust the treble, bass, and balance for that zone. With the KC7, you can also select from a list of names to display for each source and easily adjust the color and intensity of the background and foreground on the display. If you add an Ethernet to Serial Gateway, you can use our Valet Home Control app on your smartphone or tablet for additional features and control options. At some point, you may want to take advantage of these other key features available with our mid-level system. 
We provide the ability to control any centralized piece of equipment that can be controlled by IR or infrared by aiming the IR remote at a keypad or separate IR sensor. In many setups, you will create a subzone within a zone. Subzones are forced to listen to the same source as the primary zone, but the volume can be independently controlled with standard in room, rotary, or slide type volume controls. A fixed out, rather than a variable out, is required to create a subzone, which is why we provide a fixed output with every zone. Owner's manuals and additional detail are provided throughout our website, found at www.htd.com. Of course, should you have any questions, our expert support reps are available to assist you Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Central Time. We can be reached toll-free at 1-866-HTD-AUDIO. If you are in new construction, we encourage you to take advantage of our free Upload Your Plan service, where we help you establish zones and subzones, as well as determine the best locations for keypads, speakers, and primary components. At HTD, we sell our own brand of home audio gear direct to consumers at considerable savings and provide free support to ensure your home audio project is a success. We look forward to hearing from you.